Hey, this is Professor Triplett, and now we are going to continue with deformers, and we're going to talk about lattices. So I'm going to go ahead and create one really fast. And so just go to deform, and go ahead and just hit lattice. All right. Now, yours is probably not going to look like this, so let me undo that. Let me go to my lattice options and go reset tool. Now I'll hit apply. So this is what your tool will probably look like when you bring it out. And that word tool is a good word to use because this is not an object that you're uh, like, like a piece of geometry like we see on the screen here. This is a tool to help move around and deform your geometry. So how does it work? Okay, well, first thing I wanna do is set you up so that you don't get too frustrated with the lattice tool um, because sometimes when you're trying to select the lattice tool, uh, you're, you right click over it and you see I can get this lattice point here, but a lot of times um, if I'm over my mesh I'll actually accidentally get my my mesh uh, component mode uh, Menu coming up. So what I want to show you is that if you want to just play with the lattice tool There's this little menu that's up here if you roll it out and this is your selection filter so basically I can turn off the ability to select my meshes. So I'm just going to go like that. And so now in the viewport, I can't select meshes. I can still select meshes in here in my outliner, but I won't be able to select them in the viewport. So let's go ahead and select this. And I'm going to right click over it and I'm going to go to lattice point. And you can see I've got these points that turn magenta. And I can grab these points. Let me just grab two of them. And I'm going to move them. Okay, so you can see what it does is it basically makes a soft fall off um, between all of the other points that affect whatever geometry is within this box. Okay, so I can go ahead and grab these two, move those, I can grab this one and move that. I can grab these down here, move these, and I can shape things the way that I want to. Like for instance, maybe this is kind of looking like someone's head Okay, let's get rid of this lattice box. Now it does make two, um, well, we had two of them on there, didn't we? So let me delete that one and let's delete that one. So it shouldn't have made two. All right, so let's go ahead and select uh, that sphere again in the outliner and I'm gonna go back and make another lattice and I'm just gonna hit the default. But you can see here in my channel box, I have these options of how many divisions I want on the lattice. So this five divisions, I can change the two. And now the lattice just has uh, basically four points that it's going to manipulate this geometry with. So if I go to the points and I want to, you know, skew it out like that or something, I can do so. Okay, now this can be used to animate with, this can be used to shape models with, um, there's all kinds of stuff you can do with it. The nice thing about it is that, uh, you know, you're really um, manipulating just the lattice and not really affecting the mesh itself in a final way unless you delete the history off of the, uh, the mesh. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and be able to select this mesh again. Um, so what happens if I pull my mesh? Oh, look at that. That's weird. Well once it's outside of this box just like any of the other deformers it starts uh, being it starts going back to its original shape okay so let's just undo that and um, what I can do though is like let's say I want to keep it this shape uh, the lattice has done its job I'm done with it um, I can go to edit delete by type or delete all by type either one will work and then just delete the history on it so now this is the final shape and the lattice is gone and it deletes the lattice out of the um, outliner, okay? So let's go ahead and just undo that and let's go back to this right here. And so let's go ahead and just ramp this up a little bit to like five. So basically the way this thing's gonna control it is that you know whatever verts fall within these different regions, um, those are going to be affected uh, by the points that you're in. So if like, basically if I had a region where there was no, um, it had no uh, parts of the sphere inside of it, it wouldn't affect anything. 
like right here you don't see much effect even though it's probably affecting it like a tiny bit um, but just not much so if I grab two of these you can kind of see it right there that it's moving it just a tiny bit but it's not much because it's barely in that region okay but if you grab something like this one and you start pulling it you can see because it's closer to the mesh we're starting to get some deformation that uh, that's more significant so um, so you can you know it basically can isolate areas too so if I go ahead and scale this out uh, anything that's below this set of, of control points for this or lattice points will not be affected well I can mess with these individually like so and you can just see how you can start getting some weird shapes and for some for some modeling purposes this is really really good uh, I, I don't use lattice for everything, but there are times where you just really want something um, to be kind of like, it's almost like a soft select, which is another uh, technique uh, that we can use in, in Maya, and we'll, we'll go into that later, but it's almost like a soft select on your model. Um, and now that I mentioned soft select, I should probably just show you what soft select is really quick. Uh, and I know it's a tangent, but I don't want to mention it and not... Um, not show it. So let's go ahead and just delete the lattice off of here. Let's select this and I can go ahead and double click on my manipulator tool to bring up the, the tool settings. And down here there's a soft select and I can turn that on. And if I right click and hold and drag, still holding right click to vertex, I can select this vertex. And since the soft select is on, I can go ahead and, and move it and it's going to move more than just this vert. It's going to have a fall off area um, and you can make your radius larger like so and so it affects more. So the lattice is kind of like this type of thing too but I think there's um, in some ways it gives you more control in some ways the soft select might be better. For, it depends on what you're doing. Uh, in the soft select you have different fall offs that you can give it. Um, so anyway that's a little tangent just because I didn't want to mention it and not explain what it does um, but you know for instance let's do a lattice on this and we'll go ahead and change this to like five again yeah let's change it let's change it to six okay so the reason why I changed it to six is because um, if you notice that the lattice now is matching up with some of the edges so it's ma matching the subdivision which will work good for this and I'm going to turn off selection on my mesh so I can only select my lattice in the viewport. And, you know, if I wanted to just grab this corner here, kind of move that down. So I'm kind of making like a ramp um, because the assignment for this week is going to be, we're going to make like a Marble Madness uh, little map, something like uh, just something fun uh, that we would like to play with if we were like uh, still a kid inside, which I am. So that works out for me. Um, oh. Now this is interesting. I still have, what happened there? Okay, I still have my soft select on. So you can actually use your soft select with your your um, with your uh, lattice. So this is this actually was a great segue then because um, as you can see now I can actually kind of get like a lattice and a soft select at the same time. So if I don't want that soft select on, I have to turn that off. And then that's actually why. When I move this corner, why it works so softly? Because it really should just manipulate, um, you know, between this point and this point, or these points and the points going through the middle here. Uh, but it actually, with the soft select on, it actually did that in a soft manner. I have to reselect it for it to activate. So let me just turn this up. So now you can see how that would work with the soft select on. So you get kind of like this mixture. Okay, so that's it for lattices. Uh, I'm not gonna go into anything else um, about the lattices, but I will mention that of course you can keyframe any of these things. So you can you can use a lattice to like, you know, make a little ball kind of seem alive and like have them hopping around and stuff like that. So, uh, it, or, or like you have like a piece of furniture and you just wanna like make it kind of, you know, skewed or something. You can just put a lattice on it and kind of tilt it to one direction or something like that. So it's just a lot of uses for it. Um, it's, it's a nice tool. All right, thanks for watching.